Okay, so can I see a review for Yuki? This is the billionth time I have recorded this. I have I, I I fucked up my voice settings so many goddamn fucking times, and I've watched this whole video like three times. But I did a test. I think it works. I did test before, but I don't, I don't fucking know. Okay. Sorry, Quibbly. Anyway, here we go. So yeah, I know what happened here. Um, saying this for the third time. Uh, Umbra EXE, uh, the new dude that joined the server, he plays Cassie with me. Uh, I mean, he played Cassie with me last Friday. Uh, he said, big game is good against Ash. Uh, I can understand why it went impulse, because you can outburst everyone on their team, except for maybe Strix. But, um, but uh, yeah, I'm just passing that on. I don't know how that applies in this specific situation. Maybe Impulse was a better pick. Uh, I think it might have been, but, uh, yeah. Just gonna say that for future reference. Oh, and, um, one thing before I forget. Um, you have three deployables into a Grok. Like... Ying, Inora, and like, this, like, you could literally not ask for a better comp to play Grok against, except maybe a DPS that isn't Cassie. Like, this is, this is just, oh. The, the Grok, like, I, I looked at the end stats, the Grok did 144k damage, the Grok did more damage than you did, and you were basically farming the enemy team all game long, like, holy shit, I, I have no idea what happened in draft, but... But seriously, guys, don't 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 stack so goddamn heavily on the okay. deployables. Like that, that that's just oh, Grok did so much damage. Okay, so here you're pushing into Ash. We're trying to take high ground. You have Ying and I behind you. That's cool. Okay, so um, an issue I noticed throughout uh my my ten billion reviews of you is that uh. You give up high ground very voluntarily when you don't have to. And that's a problem because you need control of high ground. Especially as Cassie, because Cassie's OP. And you can just, you can just like, see, like, right here, you just, it just fell off. Um, you could have kept pushing the Cassie, you could have, um, you could have just went down to shot up Barrack or something. I, I don't know. But the point is that, like, you, 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 Diverted your attention from the Ash on high ground, who can now easily push your Yin, to the full HP Grok on the ground for no apparent reason. I don't know why you did that, but um, yeah. Yeah, you came back on high ground here. You gotta pick on Strix because Strix did not know you were on high ground now. And then you somehow uh, managed to come back from that. Uh, I honestly have no idea how that happened because um so I think here this was due more to the enemy's mistakes than to you because like Strix like I can't I can't say that he him being here was really a bad play like it wasn't great but it's not terrible either but like I feel like you got lucky killing him if you know what I'm saying. And you just lost your main tank and somehow they didn't snowball you at all. But yeah. Uh, point being, I feel like your your wipe here was pretty luck based and uh, yeah. Like here, here again, like as soon as you, as soon as you kill Strix, um, you, you just sit up there. You just you can just sit up there. They can't do they can't do shit to you. Um, who who do they have that has burst? Literally no one. Like Grok Grok has a great has great damage output here. He, he doesn't have burst. He can't do anything to you. Uh, Barrack, nope. He's he he can only poke. Ash can only poke. Genos, Genos Genos can't even poke. There's just Strix. If you kill Strix, if you kill Strix, you just camp high ground. And they can't do they can't do shit to you. Uh, right here. Um, Talus is already zoning the door. You don't need to follow him. Uh, again, you should. I think you should take high ground on the right. Uh, in the keep. 
because uh, you have a good vantage point of basically anywhere that they can come out of, of literally anywhere they can come out of. Um, maybe you can't dismount them, but you know they're coming for sure. And uh, you also have a, just a good position in general. And uh, you're not zoning the same place as the talus. Like all you want here is the dismount. You know, you, you you don't want to get kills, especially not with a not, especially without an off tank pushing with you. Uh, so and, and while and while you're down here, you know, like like they can just shoot you a bunch. Well, if you were over there, you'd be totally out of reach, and you can poke them because you don't have any damage fall off. Yeah, see, they're, they're, they're just pushing into you. Uh, you're, you're not in a very, very safe position. Um, nice ult. You should as much as possible as Cassie. I'm sure you already know that. See, Barrett got, got past your zone pretty easily because you were only zoning out one part of the corridor. If you Look, see, here, here. This is so, so good. You can, you can, you can see everything. They can't go anywhere without you seeing them. It's like, it's like having a permanent ult, you know? I, I don't know. But, like, yeah. Basically, if you just stood up here, you, you could hit zone so well as Cassie. Um, you flanked Strix here. Good job. He didn't see you coming. Easy kill. So see, now that he's dead, you, you sit up here. You sit up here. They can't do shit to you. Like, like maybe Ash can poke you, but she's not even doing that. See? Uh, like, this is what I mean about you losing high ground. Strix is dead. You have total control right here. You can do anything you want, and they can't, and they can't do anything to stop you. But instead, you just drop to the ground and um, four damage into Varric, which you could already have done. Anyways. Oh, high ground. Okay. You never hurt my friend. I've said that voice on every single thing. Yeah, see, you're just giving up control of high ground so voluntarily. I don't understand it. Really. Spray. Spray to him. Loki angry. Alright, your Inara died. Well, you're trying to take high ground, that would be a great idea. Except that your whole team's dead. But you drew out the Grok ult, then you would have died anyway, so, you know, good trade. High ground, yes. Oh, high ground. High ground, high ground. Kill Strix. You're on high ground, you can, I mean, you're on equal ground, see? You know why? Because you're on high ground. You win those. Look, see, look, see, right here, right here. They're all here. They are all right here. It's, it's like a shooting range. And unless they hide in front of the building, there is nowhere that they can hide from you. You, you, you get to do anything you want because you just kill Strix. See, you're, you're putting so much damage onto them. And they're just running away because they know they can't do shit about it. Pretty sure Cassie has mid air inaccuracy. I'm not sure where you're jumping so much. Okay, now that Strix is back, now that Strix is back, um, you should not dodge roll onto lower ground with him because, especially here with like basically no cover, because he can get the easy snipe on you, which is what he did. Uh, you should try to stay on high ground if possible, but if not, then you then you just retreat. You know, you you don't want to push in, but push in on low ground, if that makes sense, because you see Strix. Yeah, I think Strix. Yeah, Strix is good too here. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty much due to you, your bad position. There's just no other way to put it. I can't, please. Like, again, uh, the only problem, I mean, the only thing that I can do if you just decide to sit back and snipe is Strix. Only thing that's stopping you from doing that. Um, so. You want to finish Strix, you know, but you can't really do that. Your team is just very disorganized. Like you see, Ash, uh, like Barracks like retreating, and Ash is trying to push in. I don't, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Nice, um, disengage on Genos. Push him into a bad position. Easy cleanup. Let's see right here. You're dueling with Strix on equal ground when you could be on their high ground up there, like right above Brock's head. That's the high ground. Uh, you can you can just shoot down on them from there. Uh, you have the high ground on Strix. You can you can hide. Uh, you can you can just back up and get the floor between you two. Uh, he can't do anything about it. 
So basically, um, the principle is that you can go from high to low ground, but you can't go from low to high ground. Uh, Strix can't do anything if you're just higher than him. I mean, he can, but you're good enough to, to stop that shit. Dude, your talus is suicidal. Look, you have a very bad place to shoot from here. Look, you need to shoot into this tiny little slot. You, you, you put an arrow into the wall. No, that, that's not what you want. You want you want lots of space to shoot, you know? You, you have that on high ground. I think you actually push this doorway every single time that you come here. Uh, like, it's understandable that you might want to do this because um, there's not an off tank to push high ground with you. But, you know, you have a you have a healer pocket teammate, you know? So just, just make just make the IO come with you. She does plenty of damage. You, you, you'll be fine, you know? Anyway, yeah, see, the Ash can just push into you. I mean, she can do that on if, if she also went to high ground, but like... Like, if the Ash was on the high ground here, she would just be pouring out damage onto... Um, like, like, like she would be able to, uh, hit the talus. The Anara, like, like she would just have so much area control. You know, you ha you would have the same thing if you're here. Like, like in contrast, if you're here, uh, and the uh, they, they can they can just like look at you and kill you. You know, um, you you don't have a very good place to retreat. Like you can dodge roll to the left, but then Strix sees you and he can just kill you. Like, if, if you don't die here, then that's because the enemy's bad and not because... Yeah, okay, you got lucky. <laughs> like, I don't want to put it that way, but that's, that's, that's what happened. Yikes. Strix OP, guys. Like, actually. Okay. Attack. On the way. I'll push the payload, I'll push the payload. Yeah, see? Yeah, you, you don't want to have that. You don't want to let, uh... Okay, I don't know why you old, like, waited a bit to ult there, but whatever. You don't want to let, like, the reason you go right is to control the space. You know, because if you take the stairs, you can just push their... You can just put so much pressure on your back line. Um... So I, I just don't like like you clearly understand that you need to push the space. I don't understand why you would just give it up after, right after you've taken it. Um, but yeah, I guess that might come from the fact that this is a smurf. I think so. You're you're just playing against people that you know you can wreck easily. Yeah, like see here, uh, there um, there's Strix died to uh, yeah Talos just killed the Strix. Shoot on them. Shoot 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 at them. You can you can do it. Again, you can do anything you want, but instead you just sort of dive down. See? Like Ash ult here. Uh, which isn't a great old incident. Well, the gen is just that, but whatever. Um, if she landed on you there, you're, you're guaranteed dead. Like, actually. Even even if even if Barrick's Barrick just... Even if they do, just don't even look at you, you know? Because you're, you're just, you just dive so deep from such a safe position. See? You have the high ground on Strix. See how powerful you are? You have, you have so much power. Look, see? You, you, could, you could literally just sit here you, and you could poke him. You, could, you can shoot through the little slats in the wells. You can, you can kill him. You can... Then you can just body the rest of their team, you know? I, I don't understand why you would just dodge roll downward. Like, I, like, you lose this point. Like, you legitimately lose this point right here because you gave up high ground. I mean, because you gave up that space over there to the Strix who got who, who got away, got healed up, and then you you weren't up there putting out damage and pressure onto their backline, so you so you so you were going to lose point here. Enemy killed this dude. Guys, I should be a force pack to be honest. This croc is so aggro. Look at him, he's like, I will come at you by myself with my ultimate to kill you. <laughs> That's pretty poggers to be honest. 
See right here, if you were on high ground, you'd be so much safer. You could, you could deal so much more damage, so much more safely. And especially, the Strix couldn't hit you if you were on the stairs with Ayo. Which is a pretty big bonus by itself. Even without the extra vantage point and cover that it gives, it gives you. Like, your aim is good, and uh, your, your positioning is just... It's just, mm, I, I don't, I, I don't think that, like, I think it's kind of obvious that, um, Paladins is not your first FPS because, uh, you, f you, uh, are, I think you're, like, a very mechanics-based player, if you understand. Like, the reason I feel that you sometimes lose, even if you do a billion damage with a billion kills, is that, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's things like this, you know, like, um, you're not really putting out any damage when they're pushing in like like this is a push you know your your, your whole team's alive you, you you gotta be putting out damage here okay not now your whole team's not alive but like the point is that like like your team's dead now you know uh this is when you should retreat and regroup but when your team was all alive you were just sort of sort of emoting <laughs> that, that that's just the best way to put it emoting uh I just feel like you don't have a lot of team coherency. But neither do they, do they, so yeah. Anyway, see, you have high ground on Strix. He's gonna die now, right? Yeah, boom, see, easy kill. Easy, 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 easy. Nice sit up there, okay. Okay, you don't sit up there. Um, I think you lose this point. Yeah, you, you only got away there because, because, they're, um, because no one pushed you. If someone pushed you there, you, you would have been guaranteed killed. Uh, I don't know why you dodge rolled off of high ground, but you know you could you could dodge roll like anywhere on the ramps up there on the high ground and still be a lot and, and be way safer. Looks like their genos dived. That's a big F with all the misses, but it happens. You choke shot sometimes. Now see right here. Uh, you, you just you just don't have any effect here, man. Like they can just look at you, and, and you have nowhere to go to except a way where you can't deal any damage. If you were up on the high ground, you could you just be putting out so much more damage. You know, some okay, yeah, you do lose this point. So anyway, that was because your team didn't have any DPS. Like I'm sorry. Uh, you I know you got like a billion kills at the end of the game and like 121k damage or something, but uh, like right there. Okay, so this is random because um, I had to go to the bathroom between uh, two of these clips. So there's like this transition, even though it's the same video. I guess I'm gonna edit some of them together or something. I don't know. But anyway, I accidentally turned off my mic, and then uh, during like that, uh, while I was going to the bathroom. So now I have to record this 10 section, 10 minute part all over again. I actually want to kill myself. But yeah, anyway, here we go again. Alright, so here, Ash is up there just pummeling your DP, uh, your, your healers. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta go help them or something, you know? Like, you're just here hitting Strix. Like, before you were hitting Ash pretty reliably, but Ash is by herself, you know, so you could probably clean her out with being an Io behind you. I'm not really sure why you didn't and went to fight Strix instead. See, high ground on Strix. It's so powerful. You never hurt my friend. High ground is so powerful. You should go onto high ground so you can shoot down on them. Yeah, I'm sure you don't need to be this close. Because I'm sure your aim's good enough, but. Again, uh, you you don't want to zone the store. Um, like it it didn't work last time with the barrack getting through, and uh, it does work this time I think. But yeah, you see, uh, and once you okay, at least you came into high ground this time. But uh, like you get an equally good vantage point on them from the keep, and also you're not super far away from the rest of your team. Like like this, the strict shoots you. I think. Yep. You're just kind of stuck here, you know. Your healers can't heal you. You you you've got no. Uh, you can you could dodge roll over there, but like, you're exposed while you're doing that. Ash could poke you if if she had half a mind to. I don't know why she doesn't. 
but uh, yeah, it, th this just wasn't a very good position to go to. Um, it looks like the Barrack and the Grok staggered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Barrack and the Grok staggered pretty hard. So you did end up capping the point, but th again, that like that was due more to um, their mistakes than to any plays that your team made. Which is sometimes all you need, really, but like not something you want to depend on either. I have no idea why the Grok ulted when only the Barrack was alive. Big brain. Oh, I know, you have to get up to high ground. See, high ground OP, go ahead. Nice cleanup, he staggered them really hard. The Grok's gotta wait 10 seconds. Right here, going down to low ground again. I, I just don't understand why you would do this, you know, like this Strix, this Strix is also positioned very weirdly, like on the ground a lot. But, but just, look, see, if you, if you just stood over there on the stairs, I'll kill the Ash while doing the jump. They said they buffed their jump, but really they just made it longer for you to land and harder for it to aim. Can you survive the Strix flashing me too? Cassie OP. Yeah, again, that angle here. That's what it is. You should never hurt my friends! Add boom talisman. Please, high res. Shimi Makoa or gay. Yeah, it's a good thing that um the Ash and, and the Strix like aren't really focusing you. Cause like if the Ash just pushed you or like the Strix will just snipe, you would be you'd be pretty fucked, to be honest. I just feel like you know, like Whenever you you can have high ground, you probably should take it, especially as a DPS. Okay, so this is the part that really confuses me. They have their whole team pushing the high ground, and here is where you decide to fight for it and like and stay in your ground. And and um, well before you were just dodge rolling off of it as soon as you gain control and killed the Strix, uh, like. Your supports are getting pushed back. Yeah, I actually just pressuring them so hard. And look, see, you're just you're just trying to fight here. Like I, I don't really understand why you would do that to be honest. Look, see, you got flashbanged. Flashbanged at half HP. Ying just died here in the corner. Uh I was all the way back there. And somehow they failed to clean you up. Uh that was definitely that was definitely, definitely a mistake on their part. Um but uh, they did still manage to zone on me up, uh, they killed Ying, and then they picked off Inara. But the Ash here went to zone you out instead of cleaning up the Ayo, which sucks because that Grok, uh, which sucks for them because that Grok is low HP. They kill him here. Yep. So yeah, uh, you 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 managed. They managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. You know they they could have uh like your Ayo went in. They could have just the Ash could have just went back and cleaned up the Ayo. Cleaned up the talus, and then she could have ulted, and then zone you all out. But she, but she uh, made her move too early, and um, yeah, you you uh, like I actually think you win the game right here because because they did that because uh, Ash burned her ult too, and, and didn't really get anything out of it other than keeping you away for like a little while and staggering herself harder. Anyway, um, good clean up. You staggered them super hard. Uh, Right now you should go to high ground. Well, let me after you get here, please. You should go to high ground. See, like right here, uh, the Grok walked off. You didn't get him, uh, because you don't have the right angle. You know, you should you should be on the stairs, right now to get him. Anyways, yeah, if you were on the stairs and they made a more coordinated effort, uh, to, to you know, get on point here, you they could have been in a really bad spot. Um. Yeah, you do you do end up winning the game. But again, I just I just really feel like uh it was due more to like their mistakes than to your team's plays. Um So I know that uh 
<laughs> Look at this. This Karate is just dealing so much damage. Look how much, how much damage he's just putting out. Just, just spamming shit everywhere. It's redeployable versus Karate. Oh my god. But yeah, anyway. Uh, you did a lot. You got a lot of you, a lot of kills. You did a lot of damage. Uh, but again, I just I just feel like you were you were just so aggressive, you know, with your options, just diving in all the time, and um, it was only the enemy's mistakes that uh let you um escape. Like like I said, uh, I think your like your 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 mechanics are really good, a lot better than mine, but uh. Like, I feel like the reason that you haven't made Grandmaster is just that your positioning's just... Your positioning and coordination with your team are just, like, off, you know? Like, uh, the, the push that you lost, um, you were behind them. Uh, when your team was alive, like I said, uh, you weren't doing any damage, and then you went out after your Ying just died. I don't know what that was all about. And then you were behind them, like, busy trying to survive. Uh... Like like at, at a certain point you just you just kill yourself and uh, respawn with your team you know like if you were up there next to the next to the statue, uh in, in stone keep you you just could have done done so much more, uh. And yeah, I think uh you need to, uh, some work on your positioning, but uh, these are plats, uh you stomped them. Uh, good job. That's that's all that I have to say. Uh, if you have any clarification on why you you positioned like you did. Uh, yeah, I know their plats, but, uh, you asked me to review it, so, yeah. Uh, and if you have anything to say to me about my review, I would be happy to hear it. And, uh, alright, that's it. GG's.